Hello karibu endelee kujifunza na tuendelee na somo la 65 lesson 65 lesson 65 somo la 65 na katika hili somo tunaangalia mwendelezo wa masomo ya passive voice kauli ya kutendwa passive voice na hapa tunaingia kipengele cha simple present tense simple present tense kwa tunaanza mfululizo sasa wa masomo ya passive voice kwa upande wa present tense tayari tumekwisha kuona past tense na vipengele vyake vyote vinne ambavyo ni simple past past continuous past perfect past perfect continuous au past perfect progressive tense ikiwa unahitaji kupata somo lingine leo katika mfululizo wa masomo ya Kiingereza cha kuongea utaenda YouTube sehemu ya kutafuta video kisha utaandika kwa mfano somo la kwanza Kiingereza cha kuongea ikiwa unatafuta somo la kwanza lakini kwa mfano kama unataka somo la kumi, utaandika somo la kumi Kiingereza cha kuongea na kadhalika kwa utakuwa unabadilisha ile namba ya somo tu lakini maneno yote unatumia hayo hayo ili kupata somo tofauti katika kipengele hiki cha simple present tuna mfano wa kwanza ambao utatunesha sentences za kawaida au sentences za upande wa kutenda ambazo tayari tumekwisha kuziona katika somo moja hapo la, la tenses hapa kwa upande wa simple present sentences za kawaida zinakuwa katika mtindo huu unakuwa hapa na kiwakilishi au jina au majina unafuatisha kitendo afu kuna na maelezo mengine huku mbele lakini kwa upande wa passive voice tutaona sentence inavyokuwa kwanza tuangalie maana ya hii sentence kids love tv kids love tv inamaanisha watoto hupenda tv kids love tv watoto hupenda tv sasa tuangalie upande wa sentence ambayo inatakiwa iwe wa tv hupendwa na watoto tv hupendwa na watoto kwa hiyo hapo unapata kwenda kwenye kauli ya kutendwa kuna mabadiliko yanatokea ambapo hapo utaanza na kiwakilishi jina au majina kama ilivyo kawaida kisha utafuatisha haya maneno is am au are is am au are kulingana na aina ya kiwakilishi unajua kwamba i inaenda na am is inaenda na he she pamoja na it lakini are inaenda pamoja na we you pamoja na they kwa hiyo itakapokuwa hapa kiwakilishi ni they huko kutakuwa na are au kutakapokuwa kuna jina zaidi ya moja itakuwa ni are lakini pia itakapokuwa we itaenda na r itakapokuwa you itaenda pamoja na r lakini hii she pamoja na it pamoja na jina ambalo liko katika umoja itatumia is halafu kitendo kitakuwa katika past participle kama ilivyo kwa vitendo vyote vinavyotumika katika passive voice kitendo kitakuwa katika past participle lakini mtiririko utakuwa ni, ni huu hapa kiwakilishi au jina au majina kutakuwa na am um, is au are kulingana na aina ya kiwakilishi au jina halafu pia kitendo kitakuwa katika past participle halafu kutakuwa na maelezo mengine yanayoendelea huko mbele kwa sasa sentence hii hapa katika passive voice inasomeka hivi tv is loved by kids tv is loved by kids tv is loved by kids inamaanisha tv hupendwa na watoto tv is loved by kids kids love tv watoto hupenda tv tv is loved by kids TV hupendwa na watoto. Twende katika mfano wa pili wa passive voice katika simple present tuone mfano huo una nini. Example 2. English is taught. Tukishia hapa tu English is taught inamaanisha Kiingereza hufundishwa. Kiingereza hufundishwa. Lakini pia wengine wana tafsiri tofauti tofauti za Kiswahili. Kwa mfano baada ya kusema Kiingereza hufundishwa, wengine wanasema Kiingereza huwa kinafundishwa lakini pi, pi, wengine pia wanasema Kiingereza hufundishwaga na vitu kama hivyo English is taught Kiingereza hufundishwa English is taught in all schools in all schools inamaanisha katika shule zote lakini wengine pia wanasema kwenye shule zote katika shule zote au kwenye shule zote in all schools mwanzo mpaka mwisho English is taught in all schools English is taught in all schools Kiingereza hufundishwa kwenye shule zote au Kiingereza hufundishwa katika shule zote. Tuangalie mfano mwingine pia hapa kwa upande wa passive voice. Mfano wetu ni huu hapa. Example 3. Example 3 inasema this product is made in China or Tanzania. Kwa hapo unaweza kuchagua hapa nchi moja. Tuanze na, na China. This product is made in China. This product is made in China inamaanisha bidhaa hii hutengenezwa China. Bidhaa hii hutengenezwa China. This product is made in China. Tukitoa hapa China, tukaacha Tanzania, 
itakuwa this product is made in Tanzania this product is made in Tanzania bidhaa hii hutengenezwa Tanzania bidhaa hii hutengenezwa Tanzania made in Tanzania kama ni bidhaa nyingi itakuwa these products these products these products ina maanisha bidhaa hizi this product bidhaa hii kwa hiyo these products are made in China tukitoa kwanza Tanzania these products are made in China na maanisha bidhaa hizi hutengenezwa China these products are made in China tukitoa China tukaacha Tanzania itakuwa these products are made in Tanzania these products are made in Tanzania bidhaa hizi hutengenezwa Tanzania lakini hapa kuna changamoto ya haya maneno matatu made in China tukiacha Tanzania made in China wengi wanasoma made in kwa utakuta hapa mtu anasema made in China made in China kama umeshaa kusikia vitu kama hivyo made in Tanzania made in China made in Tanzania nakumbuka tukiwa watoto tulikuwa tunapata changamoto kwenye haya maneno matatu kwa mtu alikuwa akishika labda bidhaa yoyote anaangalia haya maneno matatu made in anaangalia made in wapi made in wapi made in wapi ambapo sasa watu wengine hawakuwa wanaita wanaitafsiri kwa upande wa kutengenezwa walikuwa wanaitafsiri kama madeni kama ambavyo ni, ni madeni ya Kiswahili kwa hiyo mtu alikuwa anaangalia hii bidhaa je ni madeni ya wapi madeni ya wapi ambapo sasa nakumbuka watoto wangu wanasema Tanzania ina madeni mengi kwa sababu tukiona tukiangalia bidhaa nyingi zimeandikwa made in Tanzania made in Tanzania ambapo sasa kwa matamshi ya Kiswahili made in Tanzania kwa hiyo Tanzania ina madeni mengi lakini pia tuko tukiangalia unakuta China nayo ipo kwenye bidhaa nyingi kwa hiyo inakuwa made in China made in China kwa hiyo tuko nasema watoto ni kwamba Tanzania na China zina madeni mengi sana lakini kumbe ilikuwa ni tafsiri ambayo sio sahihi ya haya maneno ambapo made in na maanisha tengenezwa ndani au tengenezwa katika lakini made in China na maanisha tengenezwa China kwa hiyo imetengenezwa China au ilitengenezwa China au hutengenezwa China made in China kwa nadhani kama nawe umekutana changamoto kama hiyo basi utakuwa umepata suluhisho la hayo maneno matatu yanayokuwa katika bidhaa mbalimbali Twende katika mfano wetu wa nne hapa. Mfano wetu wa nne example 4. Example 4 ina maneno yafuatayo ambayo sasa iko katika mfumo wa swali. Tuko tutaangalia namna ya kujibu swali kwa upande wa passive voice katika simple present. Is mathematics taught by this teacher? Is mathematics taught by this teacher? Inamaanisha je, hisabati hufundishwa na mwalimu huyu? Hisabati ufundishwa na mwalimu huyu is mathematics taught by this teacher. Jibu linaweza kuwa kama ifuatavyo. Yes it is kwa sababu kinachowakilishwa hapa ni mathematics ambayo ni hisabati na wakilishwa na it ndio sababu unaona kuna it is. Kwa sababu kwa urefu jibu lingeza kuwa yes mathematics is taught by this teacher. Yes mathematics to, is taught by this teacher lakini kwa kifupi yes it is. Yes it is. Au ungeza kurefusha na kusema yes it is taught by this teacher ambayo inamaanisha ndio hufundishwa na mwalimu huyu ndio hufundishwa na mwalimu huyu lakini pia eh, no no it's not no it's not kwa urefu ingekuwa no it's not taught by this teacher no it's not taught by this by this teacher ambayo inamaanisha hapana haifundishwi na mwalimu huyu hapana hisabati haifundishwi na mwalimu huyu Lakini pia ukisema yes it is na no it's not inatosha tu kumaanisha kile ambacho kinamaanishwa pia katika hizo sentence ndefu. Mfano wetu wa kumalizia hapa ni huu hapa example 5. Mfano wetu wa kumalizia I'm asked. I'm asked inamaanisha mimi huulizwa. I'm asked the same question. The same question inamaanisha swali lile lile. The same question every day every day kila siku mwanzo mpaka mwisho i'm asked the same question every day i'm asked the same question every day na maanisha mimi huulizwa swali lile lile kila siku mimi huulizwa swali lile lile kila siku i'm asked the same question every day ambapo huko mbele unaweza kaongeza hapa kama unaulizwa ile swali na mwalimu unaweza kusema i'm asked the same question every day by the teacher ambapo hapo unaweza kubadilisha mti yoyote kama ni, ni by the doctor by the boss na kadhalika
baada ya kuona ufafanuzi wote kwa Kiswahili basi nitarudi tena mwanzo mpaka mwisho nisome hizi sentence kwa Kiingereza tu ili kusaidia kuona kama unaweza kukumbuka kile ambacho nimekieleza na pia uone kama na wewe unaweza ukatengeneza sentence kama hizi katika passive voice kwa upande wa simple present Tuanza moja kwa moja na mfano wa kwanza ambao ni huu hapa Kids love TV Kids love TV TV is loved by kids Example 2 English is taught in all schools 3 This product is made in China or Tanzania This product is made in China or this product is made in Tanzania These products are made in China These products are made in China or these products are made in Tanzania Is mathematics taught by the, by this teacher? Is mathematics taught by this teacher? Yes it is. No it's not. Number 5. I'm asked the same question every day. I'm asked the same question every day. Ninarudia tena ili tusome pamoja sasa. Number 1. Kids love TV. TV is loved by kids. Number 2. English is taught in all schools. Number 3. This product is made in China or this product is made in Tanzania. These products are made in China or these products are made in Tanzania. Number 4. Is mathematics taught by this teacher? Yes it is. No it's not. Number 5. I'm asked the same question every day.